Right, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Luba AWD 5000 from Momotion. But before we get into the actual review, I do want to say that today's video is sponsored by Momotion. We sent the Luba free of charge. I'm not being paid for the video. All of my opinions and things that are in the video are my honest opinions. Uh, but I just want to make that really clear before I actually get into any of the review. So the reason I opted to review this lawnmower and no other sort of robot lawnmower is because of the way this actually moves around your lawn. So if you go to somewhere like being q today and pick yourself up a robot lawnmower, how it would basically work is you'd set up a perimeter cable around the outside of your garden and then the robot lawnmower would move. As soon as it hits the cable, it would turn in a particular direction. It would move again until it hits the cable and it would continue to do that all the way around your lawn. So it moved in quite an erratic pattern. Now the way the Luba works is completely different. So it uses an RTK system. And what that effectively means is once you've set up the RTK antenna, it communicates with the Luba. It knows exactly where the Luba is to roughly about two centimeters. So using this system, it's using GPS to ping to the RTK antenna, to ping to the Luba, and it gives it that really precise movement around your lawn. Now, I was skeptical of this before I actually tried the Luba myself, but I can say it is really accurate with the way it moves around the lawn. So rather than moving around with erratic patterns, it uses AI to almost determine different routes it can take around your lawn. So you can have it doing multiple passes of your lawn to get a really nice even coverage. You can get it going horizontally, you can have it going diagonally across your lawn. So all different patterns you can choose. And you can set different patterns for each time you actually cut the lawn using the Luba. So it's really easy to set up. All you've got to do is put the parking bay in a particular place in your garden, ideally somewhere where it's in more of an open space. And once you've got the parking bay set up, you can put the Luba in there and that's where it's going to be doing all of its charging, which doesn't take too long. And then you set up the RTK antenna, which can be attached to the base station or you can actually place it elsewhere in your garden. You can buy a bracket that goes on the side of your house, depending on where you want the antenna to actually go. Then you connect your phone to the Luba via Bluetooth using the Memotion app, and you basically follow the Luba from behind and mark out exactly where the perimeter of your garden is. And once you've set up that perimeter, you can start with mowing your grass. Now, a few things to mention. If there are any obstructions that are in the middle of your lawn, so for example, if you've got a tree, like I did at the front of my house when I cut the grass verge, or if you've got sort of garden furniture or particular plants or whatever it might be in the middle of your garden or somewhere within your lawn itself, what you can do is you can set up some no-go areas, which will basically mean when the loop is cutting your lawn, it'll make sure it maps a track where it doesn't have to pass through those spaces and it gets close enough to them where it actually sticks to the exact perimeter that you set for that no-go space without actually going beyond where you want it to go. You can also set up channels as well. So if your lawn is not in the same space as where the actual parking bay is, you can set up a channel so the loop will follow that channel without the blades activated. And once it gets to the cutting zone, the blades will start to spin underneath and then it'll be able to cut the lawn from there. It does have two bumpers on the side as well, and it has a bumper on the front too. And the aim of these is to detect any obstacles that might be in the way. So for example, if it runs into any lawn bordering, or if it hits, like, let's say, a wall around the perimeter of your garden, or even if it knocks into something, it'll detect that there's an obstacle in the way, it'll back up a little bit, it'll reset, it'll change direction, and then it'll eventually get itself back onto the regular cotton pattern. With my lawn being in the middle of a renovation at the moment, I had to take the Luba to another lawn, which is obviously bigger than the lawn that I've got in my garden at the moment. And uh, we had the dog running around whilst the Luba was cutting. And at one point, it sensed that the dog was in front of the Luba. The Luba stopped, gave it a moment, and then changed its pattern slightly just to make sure it could avoid that obstacle. It's something I'm not set up on this Luba yet, and mainly because of the way my lawns are with them all up and bordering around them and all being at different elevations, you can set up multi zones too. So you could have one zone being your front grass, another zone being your back grass, and you could have the Luba actually cutting both those lawns at the same time with the channel between them, or you can have it cutting those lawns on different days or on the same day at different times. So dead clever, dead easy to set up. 
uh, and loads of variability as well, depending on what your lawn setup is. Now, something really cool I want to talk about are the tyres that actually comes with. Now, I was surprised at the actual weight of the Luba. It is really heavy, it's really solid, really well built, uh, and these tyres are proper, you know, this could go off road all over the shop with these tyres. You can see there's a little bit of mud on them at the moment, a little bit of grass uh, because it has been hard at work. But um, it's basically got four wheel drive and it's able to traverse along loads of different terrains. Now the lawn in my garden, the small one that you've been cutting with this mover is absolutely tiny. It's around like 10 square meters. The tires obviously do the job when it comes to cutting that lawn, but where it was particularly impressive was on the grass verge in front of my house. Now there's a bit of a decline that goes towards the bushes and when I'm cutting it with a regular lawnmower, it's quite tricky because by the time you get to the bottom, you get your grass box that's pretty much half full by that point. You're on an angle trying to cut the grass and it is really, really difficult to do. However, the louver handled it really, really well. I'm surprised at how well the wheels can actually grip onto the lawn and actually keep itself stable. Uh, there was one time where it slipped slightly, uh, where it was quite steep. That was due to there being a few stones right at the bottom. But it was able to correct itself, get itself back on course, and it is absolutely fine from there. Now, I'm not sure many lawns are gonna be this steep, so if it can handle this, I'm pretty sure it can handle lawns of all different shapes and sizes, to be quite honest. It has dual cutting blades underneath, which are really easy to replace. Now, it's not like a traditional rotary lawnmower where you've got one giant blade with two ends on it. The blades that are on this, they're almost like little tiny razor blades. Now, the benefits of these is they're small, so they'd be easy to sharpen if you wanted to sharpen them yourselves, or they're just really easy to replace. And something that's fundamental when you're cutting your grass is that you're getting a really clean cut on the grass blade so you're not stressing the lawn out too much. If you've got a dull blade and you're cutting the grass, it's gonna cause a lot of stress to the plant it's gonna fray the ends of the plant, which can damage it too. And overall, it's not really healthy for it. However, use something like this, it's got a little raised blades at the bottom, it's always gonna be getting that clean cut. Now, something pretty cool as well is that it can cut spaces up to 5,000 square meters, which is absolutely massive. Now, like I've just said, I've been cutting my back lawn, which this has measured out to be roughly eight square meters, but it is around about 10 square meters if you take into account the actual edges of the lawn. So, it obviously makes really quick and easy work of my lawn, but if you are someone who's got a massive front lawn or a massive back lawn, especially if you live in somewhere like uh, the US, so if you've got a big house over here in the UK and you've got a ginormous lawn, something like this can come in really, really useful. Now, I uploaded a video to my channel a few weeks back about how to really thicken up your lawn using relatively inexpensive methods. Now, one tip I gave in that video is cutting your lawn frequently. The more you cut a lawn, thicker it becomes because what you're doing is you're telling that plant every time you cut it to sort of regenerate itself and to thicken itself up. If you've got a massive space, you're talking 100, 200 square meters in your garden, plus I mean up to 5,000 that this can do, cutting your lawn every two to three days is just not a reasonable thing when you take into account your normal life, your work-life balance, all that sort of stuff, and then cutting the grass on top of that. If you've got a massive lawn, really difficult to keep on top of, really difficult to manage. However, something like this will be really useful because it's almost, you know, set it and forget it. You can set it off, get in the cut on the grass every two, three, four, five days, whatever it is you choose to do, and it'll keep that lawn looking really thick and really tidy. It doesn't collect any of the grass clippings. They all go straight down onto the lawn, but if you are cutting frequently enough, the pieces will be small enough that they'll decompose quite quickly, and then it's the nutrients within those small pieces of the grass blade that you've cut that will always be recycled again into the soil and back into that plant. What's pretty cool as well is that it does automatically charge once it gets to its parking station. So it parks up, the pins connect to the back of this. All you've got to do is touch the actual connectors and it automatically charges. Now, just for reference to give you an idea of how long the battery's going to last, I set this up on a different lawn when the battery had, I think it was around about 60% on it left and once it had been cut for around about an hour, it used around about 18% of the battery. Now, if you think about that, one hour and only taking up 18%, it really gives you an idea of how long the Luba can actually be cut for. Now, it was on a relatively small lawn, but I did multiple passes on it just to get a good idea of how the perimeter would work, how the different patterns would work, changing the different speeds, all that sort of stuff. Now, that is something that I think is quite interesting, is the fact that you can change the speed at which the Luba moves. So for example, in my back garden, on my small lawn, with it being so small, 
and once it's only moved slowly across the lawn, particularly when it came to mark on the actual boundary of the lawn too. However, when I took this luber to a bit of a bigger lawn, I had it going much faster. And the reason being is just to get that coverage done a lot quicker. That is what I mentioned too, although it does cut lawns up to 5,000 square meters, it can cut your lawn that is as small as five square meters too. So in terms of my overall opinions on the Louvre, honestly, I think it's a pretty cool piece of kit. It's really well made. It does exactly what it's intended to do. And I'm not just saying that, I'm not just saying that because they sent the system. After playing with it now for about three weeks, it's a really cool piece of kit. It, you know, all the features that it has, you know, work as expected. The only thing I would say about the Louvre itself is sometimes when it's turn at a corner when you come to measure your perimeter, it can be a little bit aggressive on the grass if you've got it set to too high of a speed, but that can be rectified by turning the speed down. Now in terms of who should buy this, if you've got lawns like me, it might not be ideal because every lawn is on a different tier and unless I build ramps to get the louver up and down the retaining wall and give it a little hatch to get to the front garden, I'm probably not going to be able to sort of reap the benefits of all of its different features. However, if you've got a massive garden, then this is definitely something I'd consider investing in. Also, you don't need to have a massive lawn to actually get your money's worth out of this. If you're someone who's working throughout the week, you find it really difficult to have time to go out and cut the grass, this could be something that comes in really, really useful. Now, there's nothing worse than working all week, Monday to Friday, and getting to Saturday and thinking, right, I'm gonna cut the grass, and it's chucking it down outside. Whereas this is something where, if it's something on a Tuesday evening, it's been lovely all day, but you just don't have time to go and cut the grass, this can get the job done for you. If you would like to pick up one of these for yourself, there is an affiliate link in the description below. If you buy one using the link, it does support the channel, but no pressure to whatsoever. There's also links to the Luba AWD 3000 and the AWD 1000. All the information for those are on the Momotion website, so if you head over there, you'll be able to decide which robot lawnmower is best for you. So, thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to check out any of my other content, such as my garden renovation series or any of my lawn tip videos, then head over to my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Finally, thanks for watching.